Good morning, welcome. Today being Sunday, we begin a new Torah portion, the portion of Korach. The rebellion of Korach, very exciting, provocative, tragic story. Korach, a cousin of Moshe and Aharon, became jealous. Jealousy can kill, he said to himself, and ultimately to 250 buddies of his, and to many others. Why Moshe? Why Moshe? Why Aharon? Why not me? He got many of his fellow Levites together, along with his neighbors in the tribe of Ruvain, such as Dathan and Aviram, and on Ben Peels, and he created a rebellion which resulted in a great earthquake of sorts swallowing Karash and all of his associates. Why is Korash creating a rebellion against Moshe? The answer is he became very jealous when there was an appointment made where Elitzaphan, another cousin, was appointed as the head of the family of Kehos. Moshe appointed another cousin yet, and not Karash over Kehos. Why did Moshe make that appointment? Because God commanded him to. But in Karach's book, it didn't matter, or he didn't believe it. He says, let's take a look. Let's analyze this. So they ganged up against Moshe and Aharon, and they said to them, enough is enough. The entire congregation are holy people, and God is amongst them. Why should you gang up against the assembly of God? You're becoming elitist, not nice. Moshe heard this, and he fell on his face. Moshe, not that he was afraid of a rebellion, but Moshe said the Jewish people survived sin after sin after sin. We just finished the sign after sin. We just finished the sin of the spies. And now what's going to happen with this new rebellion? Because the truth of the matter is they were not rebelling against Moshe. They were not rebelling against Aharon. They were not rebelling against Aharon. They were rebelling against Elitzaphan. They were rebelling against God because all of this came from God. This podcast was produced and sponsored by Daniel Aharonoff.